October 17, Uma Devi was riding a scooter in Gopalapura in Bengaluru when a pothole appeared in front of her. She tried to avoid the pothole but ended up meeting with an accident. She was severely injured and eventually succumbed to her injuries on the same day. This is not the first time that a pothole has taken someone's life in Bengaluru. Several accidents and deaths owing to bad roads are often reported in the city. In fact, the number of accidents are gradually increasing. I'll be traveling in the same route two times a day. Two hours, one and a half hours, I'm traveling th- through by roads, through this kind of roads. So there, I can't work in a peace of mind. So it's a very major concern of ours. We have three agencies, BBMP, BDA, BMRCL is going on. So I don't know what are they doing about these concerns. So they should really focus on this and uh, need to better up the infrastructures. The city was just getting over the havoc caused by the rains in September when it started to rain again this week. Potholes filled with rainwater make it almost impossible for commuters to spot them, leading to a rise in accidents as well as deaths. I'm here in Dollars Colony in BTM Layout. I'll show you what the situation here over is. The residents of BTM Layout over here woke up to flooded lanes. They're struggling to get out of their houses for daily chores as they wait for some relief from the waterlogging. While some are trying to figure a way to not be late to work, some are trying to get their vehicles repaired from the rain damage. Uh, from past one year, I mean six months, we do see like this. I Means very minimal rain uh, do causes this kind of water. And uh, yesterday we face a very huge kind of disaster thing like uh, water has been coming out to the parking and all the vehicles is been in the water. People's already been uh, talked to BBMP to come and clear the drainage. But till now, I have not seen from the morning, no one has been came yet. We do pay taxes like anything and we are facing this kind of issue. So it is very miserable. It started raining at 8.30 almost and by four hours, there is full of, uh, school is full of water. One uh, section of our school, like uh, the pre-primary section, is uh, uh, totally drowned in uh, uh, water, we can say, and our gate is also damaged. There is no proper outlet for uh, water has been given here. Uh, see, the, exactly the water from there is entering into our gate. I think that is from some drainage. After visiting BTM layout, we headed to Kormangla. The residents of Kormangla complained about the faulty roads. The construction work for the metro at various spots in the area has also been adding on to people's problems. This is the Devi Eye Hospital on 80 feet road in Kormangla. The construction work of drains right opposite the hospital, along with rains, has been troubling the patients in the past week. Rainwater does not drain here very soon. And we had a big loss of uh, when water came inside to our hospital. The genset was a problem. Then our pharmacy was into a problem. We could not give the medicines to the patients. We had to close two days because of that. Other areas of Bengaluru, such as Belandur, were also waterlogged. Commuters had to look for alternative routes in order to avoid the outer ring road. The BBMP allocated Rs 968 crore for maintenance of ward roads this year and Rs 86 crore for arterial and subarterial roads. So now the question is, where is the outcome of the funds that were allocated for maintenance of roads? As the year ends, the situation of roads in the city has only worsened. Road is bad because of a lot of rain and there is no time given for rectification. So the roads are bad because there is continuous again there is rain. With the result, we are not having enough of uh, days, clear days. As on today, there is no place which is uh, underwater. The morning itself, everywhere it has gone. The city's poor infrastructure, especially pothole-ridden roads, have been plaguing the city for years now. The citizens expect an end to these woes by holding those responsible accountable. 